We are pleased to welcome Major Eric Flowers, candidate for sheriff. My name is Eric Flowers. Uh, I'm running for the office of sheriff of Indian River County. And uh, I went to high school at Sebastian River. Uh, I was part of that first class that opened it up. Everything was brand new when we started there. Uh, graduated, did a little bit of college. After 9-11, I went into the police academy. I made the decision after that, that uh, that was my calling, that I wanted to be in law enforcement. Um, after uh, completing the police academy, I became employed at the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Sheriff Raymond hired me. Uh, my career started just like everybody else in patrol. I uh, worked my way up. I was on the honor guard. I was in um, uh, the, on the SWAT team, and I eventually became a field training officer, training new deputies as they were coming in. Uh, and then I sort of had a change of course. Uh, I was asked to go into our drug unit, our undercover drug unit, and I ended up spending um, about five years total in our undercover drug unit. I did spend a little bit of time in our sex offender unit, but um, it was only about 10 uh, months that I was over there doing that. Um, during that time, it just completely changed my life. I mean, I saw a different side of the world that other people just don't see. Um, I often, when I speak about it, I, I explain it to people as though, um, much like the FedEx logo with the arrow inside of it and the Amazon logo with the uh, arrow connecting the A to the Z, once you see something like that, you can't unsee it. And so for me, um, the world looks like that. So when I go to the gas station, I see drug deals. And when I go down the road, I see criminals in progress. And so um, because I've been undercover and I've seen that different side of the world, um, I feel like I, I have a, a, a unique perspective on the world than I ever had before. Coming from a guy who, uh, again, went to Sebastian High School, never did any drugs. Uh, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Uh, not a, a, you know, just not into that kind of world. I got to see things that I had never seen before. So a uh, very unique experience. From there, I was promoted to Sergeant of Economic Crimes. I did that for a little brief period. Uh, then I was over uh, our Community Affairs section, spent some time there, got promoted uh, to Lieutenant of Public Affairs, uh, where I took over our volunteer unit and a variety of other things. Um, eventually promoted to Major of the Bureau of Administration. Uh, learned a lot about human resources and the courthouse and school resource and areas that I had never worked in my career really opened my eyes. I did that for about two years. Uh, and then July of last year, I was moved to the major of the Bureau of Law Enforcement. So I'm back uh, where I started uh, working with our SWAT team and K-9 and all the wonderful things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've had a, a pretty expansive career at the Sheriff's Office, 17 years now. Uh, during that time, I've also pursued my education the entire time. I started working here with some education. I did not have any degree. I completed my associate's degree within my first year. Uh, I went on and got my bachelor's of business administration from Stetson University. I got my master's uh, in uh, criminal justice from the University of Central Florida. And then uh, in 2012, I started pursuing my PhD in uh, public affairs, uh, which is still uh, in progress at the moment. Um, long, long time, but uh, something that I do aspire to complete. Uh, obviously, uh, COVID and um, everything that's been happening in our world has kind of slowed things down, uh, but I hope to uh, be able to complete that as soon as possible. top three things for me uh, that we need to address uh, or that are pending issues for the sheriff's office are uh, ultimately budget, uh, crime, and community. Those are the three things. Uh, we'll start with budget. Um, we have folks that put their lives on the line every single day. We've been very fortunate the last couple of years we've been able to move our starting pay up to about $42,000 a year. Um, but you saw this past year, uh, Governor DeSantis call for teachers starting pay to go to $45,000 a year. And these are literally people who come in every day, strap on a bulletproof vest, go out there and put their lives on the line. We should at least be at teacher pay or more. Uh, but we also have finite resources, and we know that our community uh, is, is very conservative and that uh, taxes are, you know, raising taxes is just not a popular thing. And so we have to be very fiscally conservative with the dollars that are provided to the sheriff's office. We have to squeeze as much as we possibly can out of every single dollar and ensure that as much of that money is going back into our employees' pockets as well as their training to ensure that we have the best sheriff's office that we possibly can do. Um, I believe that our current administration has laid a good foundation, and you're going to hear me say this uh, several times, but um, has laid a good foundation on many of these items. Uh, but now it's going to be my responsibility as your sheriff 
to really build the house on top of that and uh, to really follow through and ensure that over the next decade uh, that we can continue to increase our starting pay, attract good people from uh, you know our local college as well as other parts of the state to come here, to want to work, to want to be a part of our team uh, and to show that we're um, you know uh, conservative uh, with our money, that we're doing a good job with it, but also that the money that they give us does go back to our employees. Uh, the second item that I want to talk about is um, uh, crime. You know, we saw an incident just yesterday um, where you guys got to see the video for the first time where one of our deputies was truly a hero, put his life on the line uh, to protect our folks, uh, innocent people shot at the Walmart. We know that people who are choosing to move to Indian River County are looking at things like crime. They're looking at schools. They're looking at the area. They want to know that they're going to be safe. And safety is a huge issue. If you're going to build a business, you want to put it somewhere where it's safe. You're not going to build a business in an area where you're scared that you're going to get robbed, that your family's going to get robbed. And so it's incumbent upon us that we are uh, actively working to protect the community all the time. And uh, the actions uh, of our deputy in that video are absolutely heroic. Uh, you know, he's he feels comfortable making those decisions. He feels confident that the sheriff's office is going to back him, that he knows he can do his his job without being afraid and um, I think that we showed that in that you know in that video and in our actions and so it's important that we support our employees and that they understand that our job is to put bad guys in jail and ensure that our community is safe and that they know that we have their back uh, to, to do that. The, the community wants to know that we're not going to have an 88 time convicted felon walking around the streets. And, uh, you know, this guy was from Virginia. He came here from Virginia. I don't know how they do it in Virginia, but that's not how we do it here in Indian River County. And it's, it's over, right? He, he's not walking around the streets of Indian River County anymore. So people need to know that uh, they're going to be safe in our community and that we're going to keep them safe. And so um, that's a, a big component of the future. And I, I promise that when I'm sheriff, uh, we will continue to keep our community safe and protect you and your family. I mean, I'm raising my family here. I've got a little guy. He's growing up in our community just like I grew up here. And it's always been a safe community. And I want it to continue to be that way. The last item is community, and we've seen a national movement uh, sort of against police, and we know that we need to work with the community. We have uh, done a good job, again, building a foundation on that, but it's time to really step up that game and to really extend the olive branch and be a part of the community. We've done a great job. We've got um, every member of command staff is on a board. Every member of command staff is involved in the community um, and we need to continue that. We need to extend that down to the deputy level. We need to have deputies who are out there, uh, you know, being part of working with the Boys and Girls Club, being out there interacting with the kids at GYAC and being a part of that. And uh, again, it, it all ties together. They're not um, independent items. So budget comes into that. You've got to have money to be able to allow those people the freedom and the ability to do that. We need to have those positions that are available to, to be a part of the community and to, to do that. And so um, good management is really a big component of that. I can tell you that, uh, you know, being a part of the command staff, being there for 17 years, uh, I feel like I have the, the ability to uh, begin to move the needle on day one. And uh, I just believe that I'm the only candidate who has that ability. So uh, I'm very proud of what we've accomplished, but I'm also very excited of where we're going to be 10 years from now, because I know as your sheriff that we can have one of the most amazing uh, law enforcement entities anywhere in the country. Uh, we've got amazing employees at the sheriff's office. We've got incredible people that come in. They want to protect you. They want to be a part of our community. They want to be a part of your lives and our lives. And, and um, it's going to be a really good thing to be able to empower them and encourage them to, uh, to, and, and to, see, to see us succeed. So the reason that I believe you should choose me to be your sheriff, we haven't had a uh, CEO come from the inside for a very long time. Um, our current sheriff, Sheriff Lohr, spent 20 years in the Florida Highway Patrol before he came in. He'll tell you it took him two years to get to know everybody's names. We've got over 500 employees. Uh, it takes time to learn all the intricacies, the relationships, everything. I know all those. I've grown up at the sheriff's office and uh, it's been my career. I know everybody that works there. Uh, prior to Sheriff Lohr, uh, Sheriff Raymond had been out of the sheriff's office for eight years. Sheriff Wheeler, prior to him, had come from the outside. He never worked at the sheriff's office before. Sheriff Dobe 
Quarterback took a little bit of time off before he took over in 1980. So uh, we know if you look at Jim Collins, good to great, he says the successful organizations are ones that have people who come from the bottom and work their way to the top. And I can tell you, I'm that story. I'm the guy who started out when I worked at Walmart. I started out pushing carts and I worked my way to manager and I was successful at Walmart. At the age of 19, I had keys to the store in Orlando. I'm in the same spot here in the New York County Sheriff's Office. God has blessed me to be in the right spot at the right time and giving me opportunities that I just, I can never thank him enough for. And uh, I promise that uh, I will be a great sheriff for you working my way up through the ranks. Uh, I understand how our agency works and how our employees work. And I know them and I know I can lead them uh, better than anybody else.